this year's West Virginia Derby is Saturday. And I don't know if we're going to have any serious contenders for the Travers come out of Mountaineer on Saturday. But on the other hand, an interesting little race here at Mountaineer with the top two once on whiskey and draft pick coming out of a, a, an exciting finish in the Los Alamitos Derby. Yeah, the West Virginia Derby at Mountaineer drew a field of nine. Uh, and why not? There's a $500,000 person there. They should draw some uh, three-year-olds in there. And most of the field comes from uh, the Los Al Derby and the Iowa Derby. We've got the winners and the second place horses of both of those in there. The uh, Los Al Derby was interesting because once on whiskey, um, for most of the race was at the back of the pack and started to make a move coming around the turn, was gaining kind of slowly. And it was one of those races uh, in the stretch where I didn't really think that once on whiskey was going to get there, but slowly but steadily uh, made his move and, and got the lead as they, uh, as they approached the wire. I don't know, Brian, I wasn't real impressed with the, with the way the stretch run played out in there. So I might be leaning to horses that came out of the Iowa Derby or, for that matter, Rugby Man, uh, which comes from the barn of Graham Motion, who was second in the easy goer. Yeah, I, I, I like the horses out of Los Alamos. I think they do have a little bit of class edge here, and they're both interesting for different reasons. Once on Whiskey, that was his first time around two turns when he won the Los Al Derby. Uh, a talented, uh, talented runner, son of Bodie Meister for Bob Baffert. And yeah, he, he kicked it in late to uh, get draft pick, but I think draft pick had uh, done some hard work in uh, putting away Axeman and then opening up. And uh, he couldn't finish it off. But draft pick, draft pick, if you look, he's been really good lately. In fact, two races back, he beat Axelrod nicely. And Axelrod, uh, of course, came out to win the Indiana Derby. So uh, once on whiskey, draft pick for me, I think they are the horses to beat. But on the other hand, California horses shipping into Mountaineer Park, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Probably both of them will not run their best race. Draft pick might be the more likely one looking at his recent form and his ability to be uh, uh, in the pace uh, involved early in the race might be an advantage. But on the other hand, once on whiskey might have more potential to be a good one uh, for trainer Bob Baffert. The horses you mentioned, rugby man. Yeah, I was a little disappointed last time uh, with his performance in the Dwyer. He was really... Uh, not even a match for uh, horses that were well behind for NZ Fire. I guess he got fourth, but it was a ways back in that one. Not sure what to think if he can bounce back more like his easy goer performance. He is a threat. Still lightly raced on a tap it. The Iowa Derby horses, uh, High North is actually a horse I've liked for a while. But on the other hand, I feel like I know what High North is. He's just a good horse. He doesn't beat the best. His greatest stakes opportunities have not been great. But away from graded stakes, he's done well. So uh, a horse who probably will represent himself reasonably well in the West Virginia Derby might be over bet, though. And that's uh, hard to say for Brad Cox, Florent Giroux uh, combo horse because they've done so well. Lion Knight's had his chances, but maybe at high odds for Steve Asmussen, he's a horse that you could throw in the exotics. The horse I like best from Iowa is Mr. Freeze, who is another still lightly raced horse, and I thought he ran well in Iowa. Maybe he pops up as a horse who can uh, uh, beat one of the Californians, but my guess is the winner comes from the Los Al Derby. Well, I'm going to go against you in here, Brian. I'm going to go for more of a price in here, uh, just for the reason that you said that uh, California shippers don't always fare well, and especially going to, tra to a track like Mountaineer. So I'm going to go with Graham Motion and Rugby Man. Uh, I'm going to hope that um, Rugby Man didn't like the Saratoga track especially. And uh, Motion's horses usually do ship around the country really well. Good, Matt. Uh, yeah, Rugby Man, horse with potential. I'd like to see you picking, uh, picking a horse with some odds. That's our West Virginia Derby preview folks it should be another great week we're in the middle of summer here now and we are enjoying the races from saratoga del mar and all over the place places like mountaineer park